And it's 300 Indy car race seen live here on ESPN from Laguna Seca. Two of the top three finishers belong to the Unser family, but not the top spot. That went to Bobby Rahal. Bob Jenkins has our story. Bobby Rahal continued his incredible second half of the season performance Sunday afternoon when he won the Stroh's 300 IndyCar race at Laguna Seca Raceway near Monterey, California. Ray Hall started the race from the pole position and was the early leader with Allenzer Jr. and Danny Sullivan trailing. The pace car came out for a full yellow following an accident involving Tom Sneva, who crashed at the hairpin. After pit stops during this yellow, Ray Hall lost the lead, in fact, dropped to third position. With Al Unzer Jr. leading, Jeff Brabham outbreaks Little Al at the hairpin. Both go high, and Ray Hall sneaks to the inside to grab back the lead. Well, Brabham uh, outbreaked uh, Al, you know, cleanly, but uh, he took Al outside of the corner, and I just sort of uh, nipped through the inside, and off we were, we were off to the races. In the closing laps of the 98 lap event, several things happened. Mario Andretti's car caught fire. Danny Sullivan, who was running in second position, was black flagged. Jeff Brabham, who ran a strong second for many laps, blew an engine, making this one of the most exciting IndyCar road race finishes in history. Finishing in second position was Allenzer Sr. Allenzer Jr. was in third. Roberto Guerrero finished in fourth position. Now it's on to the Oval next Sunday, Phoenix, Arizona, for a 150-mile race that we'll have live for you here on ESPN. From Laguna Seca Raceway in Monterey, California, this is Bob Jenkins reporting for SportsCenter. And as Bob Jenkins just told us, Bobby Rahal, the winner of the Unser's coming in second and third, Roberto Guerrero fourth, and Danny Sullivan was fifth. On the NASCAR circuit, the Miller 500 at Charlotte Motor Speedway, Cal Yarbrough took the lead with 46 laps to go, held off Bill Elliott down the stretch to win, averaging over 136 miles per hour. Elliott was second, Jeff Bodine third, Daryl Waltrip fourth, and Joe Rutman was fifth. Elliott's second place finish gave him 175 points on Sunday, so he has moved to within 20 of Winston Cup leader Daryl Waltrip, 3791 to 3771, followed by Harry Gant, Neil Bonnet, Ricky Rudd, and Jeff Bodine. Chris? What is Waltrip's magic number? Do you know of that? <laughs> I didn't think so. No. Uh, we'll figure it out later. At the European Grand Prix, Alain Pro was beaten, but he won. Well, let me explain. Pro's fourth place finish behind Nigel Mansell was good enough to wrap up the 1985 Grand Prix Drivers' Championship. This is the view of the race course at the European Grand Prix Bronze Hatch, England. Tournament 12, Brazilian Arden Senna takes the early lead over K.K. Rosberg, but... Just two laps later, K.K. Rosberg tries to pass Art and Senna. Nelson Piquet rams into Rosberg, and he is out of the race. Then we will move ahead to the 16-lap mark. Mansell will pass Senna with a pretty move on the inside to take the lead for good. And then with 10 laps to go, Mark Serve, Switzerland was solid second, except he has a minor problem here. The car catches fire. He's out of the race. With no one to overtake him, Nigel Mansell gets the checkered flag, his first Grand Prix win of the year for the Britain, doing it in front of the home folks. Mansell beats center, Rosberg, but fourth was Alain Pro. So you add up all the Grand Prix point standings, you find that Alain Pro has 72 to 53 lead over Michele Alboreto. His magic number is zero because with only two races left on the Formula One Grand Prix circuit, Pro has clinched the Drivers' Championship. Coming up on this edition of Sports.